Okay. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Let me see, Carla Vanessa, how are you today? Uh, busy. Busy, okay. Oh, all right. But was it all fine? I'm fine. Okay. All right, that's the important thing. Great, and how about the platform, Carla? How are you doing with that? Eh, empezando la cuatro, casi a la mitad. Okay, All right, sounds excellent. Sí, Maria del Carmen Jorge, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Good, how was your day? Uh, very good. All right, nice. And the platform, Maria del Carmen? Finish. Oh, you're done. Okay, great. Thank you. Let me see, Nancy Carolina, good evening. Mm. Nancy, you're having trouble. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? How's everything? Uh, I very well. Okay, today good. It's morning. <laughs> okay, great. It's and free day in oh. at work. Nice, you had a free day. You had some time to rest. That is important. Okay, cool. Yeah. And tell me about the platform. Have you been working on it? Uh, I finished. You're done. All right. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, Manuel Aristides. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How How's everything? You? I'm well, and you? Great. All right, nice. How was your day? What? No. no How was your day? It seems the connection is not so good. Um, right? I had I a quiet day oh. uh, working from, from home. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is very nice. Okay, cool. And you're done with the platform, yeah. right? Cool. Finish. Yes, okay. The platform. All right, great. Thank you. See, Melissa Arely, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? I'm fine. Okay, very well. And how about your day? How was it? Uh, I stay in house. I work in my house. You just stayed home? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. All right, that's good. And let me see Luis Enriquez. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Luis? I'm good, thank you. Okay, how was your day? Uh, it's a quiet day. That's nice. And yeah. how about the platform, Luis? Have you been working on it? Uh, I'm in section four. Section four, okay, cool. That's great. Ingrid Carolina, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Very good. Great. How was your day? Um, I'm very well. 
Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And tell me about the platform, Ingrid. What section are you in? Estoy por finalizar la sección cuatro. Okay, all right, you're doing pretty well. Keep going. Luis Alonso, good evening. No, Luis Alonso is gone. Luz Marina, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I find me. All right, very well. And how was your day? Mm, good. Which is good. Nice. And the platform, Luz Marina, have you been working Thank on it? You. Uh, you're in lesson four okay all right sounds good julia maritza good evening good evening teacher how's everything i'm fine teacher thank you great how was your day very busy teacher uh today is a low day oh okay all right so thank god it's almost done right it's almost over mm -hmm. and how about the platform have you been working on it it is very in the second floor sorry what section are you in Julia Maritza. Sorry, teacher, de mi, se me está con el internet. Yeah, don't worry. So you said you were in section four? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. All right. Correct. Okay. Keep going. You're doing pretty well. And let me see, Jennifer Noemi. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Mm, I'm okay. All right, nice. How was your day? Mm, I had a lot of work. Okay. All right, so it was a busy one. And how about the platform, Jennifer? How are you doing? I complete uh, the platform. You're done. Okay. Very well. That's great. Thank you. All right. So let me start with the attendance. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our class number 11. So let me take attendance. Ingrid Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Good. Jocelyn Asiria. Jocelyn Asiria. Okay, Joanna Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, Julia Maritza. Present teacher. Good, Karen Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Karen. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie Argueta. Carla Iris Martinez. Carla Iris Martinez. Okay. Carla Vanessa González. Present. Thank you. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Present. Okay. Crisia Magdalena Muñoz. Crisia Magdalena Muñoz. Luis Alberto Enríquez. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Present teacher. Very well. Luis Carlos Guevara. 
Luis Carlos Guevara. Luz Marina Hernández. Luz Marina Hernández. Mayra Lorena. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Aristides. Present teacher. Okay. Marco Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. María del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. María José Abrego. Present teacher. Okay. María José Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Present teacher. Okay. Marta Lilian Guevara. Present. Marta Lilian Guevara. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar. Marvin Joseph. Mayra Roxana. Present teacher. Okay. Melissa Arely. Present. Okay. Melvin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. And Nancy Carolina Mengibar. Present teacher. Okay. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Present teacher. Okay. And how about Jose Atilio Flores? Jose Atilio Flores. Okay. All right. So let's start with today's lesson. Do you remember about what we studied yesterday? What did we study? Any, anything you remember? The past, the past simple is... Okay, past simple. Negative past. Negative form, that's correct. And what do we have for making negative sentences? How do we make them? How did you go? How do I go to... How do I make the negative sentences in the past? What is the auxiliary that I use? Did. 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 Did plus? Did. Didn't. Did and didn't. Yes. Did plus not or the contracted form didn't, right? Didn't. And then after the didn't, what do I use or what do I put? There. The verb. And do I have to conjugate the verb in any way? No. No, right? I use no. it in the base form. I use it in the present. Okay. Yes. So I would have, for example, I didn't go to school yesterday. I didn't eat pupusas. I didn't buy a t-shirt. I didn't, I didn't go to the church. We didn't study the verbs yesterday <laughs> and so on, right? So how about you give me some more examples? Let's do it in this way. We got popcorn sentences. So it's very simple. What you have to do is to tell me a sentence in the negative and then say popcorn and call a name of your classmates. So it would be, for example, I say my sentence. It could be with any subject. So let's say she didn't uh, she didn't study for the exam. Popcorn, Manuel Aristides. Then you have to say a sentence in the negative form and you say popcorn and you call another classmate. So go ahead, Manuel. No comprendí, no comprendí. Oh, okay, all right, let me explain it again. What I need you to do is to make a sentence in the negative. Then, for example, I say my sentence. She didn't, uh, oh, I forgot mine. Okay, let me make another one. She didn't buy any milk. And then you say popcorn, and you say a name of one of your classmates. 
example, I say, I, she didn't buy any milk. Popcorn, Manuel Aristides. So that means it's your turn. You say your sentence, then popcorn in another name. Okay. Uh, popcorn. Um, but first I, you say your sentence. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't eat mango. Okay. Popcorn. Popcorn, Luis Enriquez. He didn't play soccer. Popcorn, Joanna Raquel. I didn't play Jenny. Mayra. Popcorn, Mayra. I didn't run on the Monday. I didn't run on Monday, okay. Popcorn, Joanna. Um, can you choose another person, please? Mm -hmm. We'll participate. Okay. What car, Melissa? Right. I didn't go to work. What car, Luis Alonso? Me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't uh, read a newspaper, a uh, popcorn, um, Oscar. Uh, I didn't not eat uh, pupusas. Uh, I didn't uh, eat pupusas. So, can, uh, uh, Podcore Crisia. Hey, maybe you can choose, uh, you can choose somebody else, Oscar, please. Maybe. What? Maybe you can choose somebody else. I cannot hear Chrisia. Chrisia, Chrisia. Okay, Chrisia, are you there? I cannot hear you. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask Katia Limpet. Go ahead, Katia. He didn't play video games. Popcorn, Maria del Carmen. I didn't go in the morning. Popcorn, Mayra Villorio. Um, Mayra, you have participated, right? Or no? So, Mayra, have you participated? Uh, I didn't play the part yesterday. All right. For con Katia. Go ahead, Katia. Oh, Katia has already participated. Let's do somebody else. Can you choose another person, please, Mayra? Grisia. Um, Grisia has participated too. Let me see who hasn't participated. Marta Lilian. So let's see. Popcorn, Marta Lilian. Go ahead. Okay. I didn't eat cake at the party. Popcorn, Marie Jose. Jose Abrego or. Maria Jose? Today, your teacher. Yes, go ahead. I didn't cook vegetables, popcorn, Melvin Antonio. Okay. 
Excuse me, teacher. Eh, vamos, no, escuché, no entendí muy bien. Vamos a decir algo negativo y vamos a mencionar a la persona siguiente que lo va a decir. That's right. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, so it was Melvin's turn, right? Melvin, go ahead. Yes, uh, I didn't go to see Popcorn uh, Luis Enriquez. Um, Luis Enriquez already participated. How about um, Maria Martinez? Go ahead. I didn't know. <laughs> um, I didn't eat pizza. I didn't eat pizza. Uh, I didn't eat pizza. Um, Jennifer Noemi. I didn't exercise today. Okay, Nancy, last participation, and then we continue. I didn't go to see the movie. I didn't go to see a movie. Okay, very well. All right, oh. so now you all, oh, we are going to stop over there, Nancy, thanks. Okay, Maria all del right. Carmen. Oh. Okay, Maria del Carmen, say the last one then. Last I sentence. didn't drink coffee. Okay, I didn't drink coffee. Very well, thanks. All right, so just a little thing. Remember that you use either the complete form, did not. So you could say, for example, I did not drink coffee. I did not buy a cell phone. I did not eat pizza. Or you can use didn't in the place of did not. So you say, I didn't do my homework. I didn't. Uh, visit my grandparents. I didn't uh, read the book, but you do not mix them. You cannot say I didn't not, or I did didn't or something like that. It's not I possible. You, you use one of them, did not or didn't. In the verb, of course. Okay, so let's continue. Well, we are going to review this later because now I want to focus on this. Today's lesson objective is by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple past yes, no questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So we have studied the negative. Now we are going to study the interrogative form. Let me go to the platform so we can check on some material. Yes. Okay, so we are going to listen to the conversation and then we are going to practice it. And can you please turn off your microphones, everybody? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. 
And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, so that is the short conversation, right? We have a question such as, did you go anywhere last summer? Did you like it? Did you go hiking there? Did you have fun? Now, uh, take a look at the conversation and tell me if you have questions about the vocabulary, please. Teacher. Tell me. What is this hiking? Hiking would be when you go walking, for example, on a mountain or forest. So it's just oh. walking, but um, doing it as a sport, let's say. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Do you understand the meaning of rafting? This word here, rafting? Any word? Um, anywhere, eh, algún lado? In this case, did you go anywhere um, last summer? Um, Fuiste algún lado este verano? <laughs> Anywhere. And then I was telling you about this word rafting. It's this sport you see in the picture. That is rafting. Any, oh, any other questions? No more. Do you understand the meaning of river? Yes, okay. All right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes so you go to the breakout rooms and practice a conversation with a classmate. And so let me make the groups. And I'm sending the conversation to the WhatsApp group. And okay, we got trios or groups of four. Okay, there we go. Did you go and kick him? There you go, and I'm sending you the picture now. Voy a ir por el teléfono y ya regreso para ver la conversación. La, ¿Se puede ver? ¿Se puede ver? Sí. Pero se ve muy pequeñito. No se entiende. Ahí está. Ok. Excelente. Si Gracias. Quiere, empezamos con usted. ¿Quién con quién? Cari. Bueno, la cosa se llama Cari. Chicas, no aviso quiénes son los que están aquí. Si quiere con Cari González. Si quiere, empiezo okay. yo. Y, y, y. Bye, está bien. Empiezo. So, did you, did you, perdón. So, did, did you go anything, anywhere last summer? Yeah. Yes, I did. My sister and, and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Do you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go, did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? 
Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, yeah. just okay. we say actually and river. Actually, river. river. Actually, river. Okay. Very well. Actually, actually. Actually. Continue practicing. Okay. House. And we also went white square face facing on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great, a great time. Okay. Um, falta just an observation. We say actually, and it is the Colorado River. And fun. Did you have fun? That's how we say. By the way, practicing the pronunciation. Repeat, please. Actually. Actually. Colorado River. Colorado, Colorado River. River. Did you have fun? Do you have fun? Uh, did you have fun? Very well. Continue. Mm, falta Crisia, ¿verdad? Eh, teacher, ¿y Sao cómo se dice? Sao, so. So, so. We saw the Grand Canyon. So. Yes. Okay. Ahora va Crisia con... Solo tres somos. Solo somos tres. Empieza Cristian y continúa una de nosotros. Ok. Cristian. El sonido le está fallando. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, but. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. When saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Do you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we, we rode horse and we also went White water waiting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. Vaya, Crisia, hoy, hoy voy a comenzar yo y usted va a ser Erika. Okay, okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like, like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you, did you go hiking there? Hiking, hiking there. Hiking there. No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse. And we also went, went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. Okay, we're back. I thought you were practicing. You did pretty well. And let me see, just a couple of words that we need to keep practicing. Pronunciation. So please everybody repeat, anywhere. 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 Last summer. Last summer. Last summer. Last summer. Did. 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 When? Went. Went. So. 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 Really? 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 
Really? Really? really? Um, loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Love, 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 Horse. 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 Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Really? Did you like it? Did you, Did you like, like it? it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. yes. We, we loved it. We loved, loved it. it. Did you go hiking there? Did, Did you, you go hiking, hiking there? 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 No, we didn't. No, no we, we didn't. didn't. Actually, we rode horses. Actually, Actually we rode horses. horses. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. And we, we also, also went, went white water rafting on the Colorado River. <laughs> Whoa, did you have fun? Whoa. Oh, oh did, did you, you have, have fun? fun? Yes. yes, we did. Yes, 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 yes we, we did. did. Yes, we did. We had a great time. We had right. a great time. Right. 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 Okay, very well. Now let's listen to the information about the yes no questions we did. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She yeah. liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Okay. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark, a good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the 
question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given. I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turn into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we'll add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject. Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense. Go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now okay, so that is what we have about questions in the simple past. So we use the auxiliary did once again, in this case only did because it is not negative, right? So we use did plus the subject and then we add the verb. The verb remains in the base form. We do not change it because we are using an auxiliary verb that indicates the simple past. So let's take a look at a sentence, I mean at a question in the simple present which is, do you have a car? And then in order to answer, you know that you, you have two options. Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Then we follow the same structure for the simple past, except that instead of do, we use the verb did. The auxiliary is did, which is the past of do. So that's the only difference. As you see, we start with the auxiliary, then we have the subject, then the verb in the present, and then the complement. And then the same goes to the answers. We got the same two options, but using the auxiliary did. We have yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Those are the short answers. But then we also have the option of providing more information, right? So if you want to make long answers, you could say, for example, did you work yesterday? Yes, I worked yesterday. Then if you make a sentence, you would need to change the verb. And for example, if you make it negative, no, I didn't work yesterday. Remember the negative takes the verb in the present in the base form and that's pretty much it we have some more examples did she come last week did she come last week did yes. they travel to canada last month okay so how do you answer the first one did she come last week what would be the short answers uh, i could say Yes, she did. Yes, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, or she no? Did. No, she didn't. She didn't. No, no, she, she didn't. didn't. Okay, very well. And how about the long answers? Can you try making a long answer? Did she come last week? Yes. She, yes, she did come last week. 
Okay, but there we have to change the verb. What's the past of come? Came. 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 So you would say, yes, she came last week. week. Yes, mm. she came last week. Mm. Or mm. no, she, she didn't, came. She came last week. didn't didn't come. Didn't. Yes, mm. we would say, no, she didn't come last week. She didn't come. Next one, did they travel to Canada last month? Short answers, yes? Yes. Yes, they, they did. They did, they did. or no? Traveled to Canada last month. They didn't. Yes, they didn't. They didn't, okay. And the long answer is yes, they traveled to Canada last month, or no? They didn't. They didn't. Completed. Travel to Canada Travel last to month. Canada. That is correct. Okay, so that is what we have about the simple past yes no questions. Do you have doubts about this? No? Okay. Then I need you to go to the breakout rooms for a moment and answer these questions in small groups. So just uh, say an answer to them like did you have a hamburger for dinner yes I did no I didn't or maybe if you make it negative you could add some more information like I had beans and eggs for dinner for instance or I had pizza for dinner so try to um, to add more information I'm sending you a screenshot and I'll open the breakout rooms in just a minute Okay, there we go. Recording in progress. La... ¿La están compartiendo todavía no? Todavía, ahorita voy a compartirla. Ok. Es que la está descargando. Ahorita la comparto. Ok, ahí va. Ahí está. Okay. Did you have okay. Did you have a a hamburger for din, the dinner? Did you have a hamburger for dinner? I sería um, no, uh, no, I no, I didn't. didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't only milk. Um, I didn't pasta. No, I, I had. You can use there the verb had or ate or drink, drunk. I mean, in the past. Drunk. Yeah, no, I, 
I I did I did eat. I ate. I did ate pasta. Uh, without the did. If you ah. change the form of the verb, you do not use the auxiliary. Ah, okay. I did it. Or oh, I didn't. I didn't. No, you would say only I ate. I ate I pasta. Ate. Mm. Ah, only. Ah. Yep. I ate. Yo comí. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, question two. Did, Did you your mom visit your, last, your week? last weekend? Uh, no, I don't. No, I did. No, I. No, I didn't. No. I didn't. Your I mom? Didn't. Did your mom visit you? Ah, um, yes. yeah. Uh -huh. My mom is. No, she uh, didn't. No, she didn't. Uh -huh. That's right. No, she didn't. So or, maybe you can take turns asking each other, like Manuel can ask Luis Alonso, then Luis Alonso can ask Melvin, and then Melvin asks Karen, for, for example. Okay. So you all get a chance to practice. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, Luis Alonso. Uh, uh, did, did you travel to New York last year? Yes, I... I travel. Yes, I traveled to New York for last year. You celebrate last Christmas? No, I didn't. Do you eat pasta last week? No, I didn't. You were yesterday afternoon? Yes, I didn't. Yes, I did. did you... Yes, I did. Do you drink coffee in the morning? Yes, I did. Do you complete any exercises in the Western platform yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay. Luis, Carlos y Luz Marina faltan. Luis Carlos, Luz Marina, are you there? Hmm, maybe not. Okay, so you both practiced already, Maria del Carmen and Marco. Did you also practice answering, Maria del Carmen? Lo hicimos, primero preguntó Marco, lo contesté yo, y luego pregunté yo, y él contestó. All right, that's good. I see Luz Marina turn on the microphone. Luz Marina, are you there? Yeah, maybe she's having trouble, because I see the microphone on, but we cannot hear her. Okay, so we are going to get out of the rooms in just a minute. So maybe you can continue asking some more questions on your own. So you keep practicing. See you later. Me, podría ser. Porque aunque sea en positivo, pero si se dice en pasado, tengo entendido que, que, que sí cambiaría también el verbo base, pero... Do you have verbo. any questions? Uh, yes. Tell me. Yes. Yes. Cuando vayamos a decir la respuesta positiva, tenemos que dar solo la, la oración, algo así. Yes, she, she visited me last weekend. Yes, that's o right. O solo podemos decir, she visited me last weekend. Uh, well, normally we answer yes or no. So you would say, yes, she visited me last weekend. Or yes, she did. She visited me last weekend. That's another option. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. To see them. Okay. Uh, did you name Janice? Janice or Janice? Chinese. Uh, what is it? Chinese? Chinese. 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 Did you learn Chinese? Chinese. Yes. Did you learn Chinese a few years ago? 
No, I didn't. Or no, I yes. didn't. I did. Or yes, I did. I can't buy. Yes, I did learn. We're coming back. Let me just wait for everyone to be here teacher. and okay. Um, just give me a second. I'm going to take the screenshots and then we continue talking about it. Please, because we need the screenshots. So um, please everybody turn on your cameras so we can get the screenshots. Okay, give me a second. My connection is kind of slow, so I do not see all cameras on. Okay, they are loading. Oh. All right, meanwhile- I they... have a turtle. <laughs> so tell me, what is your question? And meanwhile, we wait. For it to load, just tell me what's your question and I'll answer it. Cuando estamos respondiendo positivamente, uh, con cuestión al verbo, hay que pasarlo por la redundancia, perdón, hay que ponerlo en pasado. Si sí, aunque estemos usando mm -hmm. did. No, positivo. if you are using the auxiliary, you do not change the verb. But remember that um, in the affirmative form, we change the verb all the time. So whenever you answer yes and give a long answer, you need to change the verb. Like, yes, I ate some pasta. Yes, I visited my grandmother. Yes, I went to New York. Yes, I learned Chinese. So in that case, you, you, you change the verb to the past. But then if you are using the auxiliary verb, that is for the negative form, you would not change the verb. So you would say, no, I didn't go to New York. No, I didn't visit my mother. No, I didn't get any gifts. No, I didn't uh, learn Japanese. I mean, if it's negative, you change, you do not change the verb because you're using the auxiliary. But if it is affirmative, you have to change the verb. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, all right, so I'm taking the screenshot now. Let me see everybody. Okay, we've got a couple of minutes, time flies. Okay, so tomorrow we'll be talking about the affirmative form and we'll talk about regular and irregular verbs. So we are clear about this. And uh, meanwhile, let me remind you that you have to keep practicing on the platform. If you have not finished, please, I ask you to continue working. It is important tomorrow I'll check and I'll grade um, during the day. So if you got time to work on the platform today, that will be good. So you can get a good grade before I check. I mean, when I check. Um, so please take that into account. And all right, I got the screenshots. Now I only need to get attendance. And let me see. Okay, um, Ingrid Carolina. Present. Thank you, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, Jocelyn Asiria. Joanna Raquel. Present teacher. Julia Maritza. Present teacher. Karen Elizabeth. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Iris Martinez. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Carla Vanessa González. Present. Ok. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Present. Good. Crisia Magdalena Muñoz. Present teacher. Ok. Luis Alberto Enríquez. Present teacher. Ok. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Present. Ok. Luis Carlos Guevara. Luis Carlos Guevara. Ok. Luz Marina Hernández. Luz Marina Hernández. Mayra Lorena Portillo. Present teacher. Present teacher. Eh, Luz Marina and Mayra too. Sí. Present. Okay. ok, thank you. Manuel Aristides. Present. Thank you. Marco Antonio. Present teacher. Good. María del Carmen. Present. All right. María José Ábrego. Present teacher. Ok. María José Martínez. Present teacher. Thanks. Marlene Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ok. Marta Lilian. Present teacher. Marvin Joseph. Mayra Roxana. Present teacher. Good night. Ok. Thanks for you too. <laughs> Melissa Arely. Present. Ok. Melvin Antonio. Present teacher. All right. Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Nancy Carolina. Present teacher. Oscar Giovanni. Present teacher. Ok. And Jose Atilio Flores. Jose Atilio Flores. Ok. All right. So that, that will be all for today's class. I hope everybody has sweet dreams and a good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 B